Hello everybody. So today we're going to talk about the popping off of heads and blend for web and normal editing. Short version is, please tell me how to do this if you know how to do it. I cannot figure it out. Long version is, I need to pop the heads off because the heads have like a dozen different shape keys and the bodies have a different dozen shape keys. Uh, and I'd like to hot swap them, you know, a uniform body um, without changing out the head and all that stuff. I can't figure out how to do that. One of the issues is I'm using Blender. Um, I can do this pretty easily in Maya, but in Blender it's super, super difficult. So if you want to pop off the head, that part's pretty easy. Unfortunately, you get this seam. Blender is really aggressive about recalculating normals, and uh, I can't figure out how to get rid of this seam. I want to freeze the normals on that one line of uh, one edge loop. Um, I can do that using a data transfer method, but I can't figure out how to freeze just one row and it doesn't export. So if, I does, if it doesn't export, that's useless. I need it in Unity. So um, I was looking for other, other answers. And someone suggested the Blend for Web plugin. So uh, it's the only plugin I've been able to find which actually allows you to edit normals. And I thought, that sounds great. I'll just use the Blend for Web plugin to freeze this one edge loop. All I need to do is freeze the normals on this one edge loop. Now, I can't freeze all the normals because I'm going to be applying some pretty severe shape keys. And if you have like a, like a hugely obese person with the exact same normals as a skinny person, it's going to look really weird, especially if uh, you get skewing based on uh, what, the, what the smoothing used to be and isn't now, because then you get this really weird kind of um, mosaic pattern rather than even flat shading. It's really strange. Uh, so I just want to freeze this one line of normals. I do not want to freeze all of the normals on the body. Unfortunately, it's clear from the moment I hit activate that it recalculates all the normals on the body. You can look at the ear there and see it right away. Now I can get it to calculate those normals to be smooth, but that's all the normals on the body and it freezes all of the normals on the body, which is no good. Moreover, that doesn't even help because it doesn't freeze the normals when I split it off to a new mesh. It recalculates them. Uh, so uh, I can make it smooth by uh, hitting uh, split mode average split. And then it is nicely smoothed out. But then when I decide that I'm going to break it in half, oops, oh, sorry, hide. Uh, it's definitely got the exact same seam that it had before. So that doesn't actually freeze the normals. That just recalculates the normals exactly like they were before, which is hardly useful. Uh, to me, it, it might be useful in some other context. If you know anything about how to do this, please let me know. Now, just by random chance, I managed to accidentally do it correctly on a sphere. I don't know how I did it, I don't know what I did, but I managed to freeze the normals on the sphere and split it perfectly, but then, when I modified the shape of the sphere, the normals on the part that weren't the crease got really screwed up because they were frozen even as the shape of the sphere was changing. So. Please tell me if you know of any way to freeze a single row of normals in Blender. I just cannot figure it out. Um, it's okay if that uses something core to Blender. It's okay if it uses Blend for Web. It's okay if it uses a different plugin. Uh, right now, the only way I can do it is to let them drift and then reassemble it at runtime in Unity using a C-sharp parser. Um, and that's kind of obnoxious. So I prefer to do it properly here in Blender if possible. Thanks for your time.